What's going on people, I'm Waterfields1 and this is the PS4 News, your weekly roundup on everything PlayStation. If it's your first time here then please do subscribe, turn notifications on, but with that said, let's do it. First up this week, developer Reef Entertainment, the guys behind Rambo the game, not the best claim to fame going that one. Well, they have revealed a new first person shooter based in the Terminator universe called Terminator Resistance. Now you play as Jacob Rivers who has been marked for termination, so of course you have to kill lots and lots of robots to stay alive. Simple concept, the game is scheduled for release on the 15th of November 2019. I hold my hands up, most of you have probably realised at this stage that I am naturally a very negative human being, but I can almost guarantee this game will be trash. Just saying, the last good Terminator game was of course Terminator v Robocop on the Sega Mega Drive. Everything since then, utter trash. Now from the trailer, to me, this game just looks like a very generic first person shooter game from 2010. It, it looks dated. 2010, this game would have been absolute class. 2019, utter trash. Anyway, that is Terminator Resistance launching on the PS4 on November the 15th, 2019. Zombies are appearing in Red Dead Online. Yes, zombies are randomly appearing across the map in Red Dead Online as spotted by eagle-eyed Reddit users. Now this started following the latest patch for the game. Now Rockstar have yet to comment. Speculation is suggesting this may be the start of Undead Nightmare 2, but more realistically it's setting up a special event for Halloween, isn't it? We sit and wait for word from you, Rockstar. We sit and wait. Sony have confirmed they do indeed now own Sunset Overdrive, which of course was an Xbox exclusive game. This is of course following the purchase of developer Insomniac Games. Now unfortunately, it doesn't look like they will ever port that game to the PlayStation purely based on poor sales performances on the Xbox. It wasn't great, so Sony can't see the benefits of bringing that game across to the PlayStation, instead stating they are far more interested in Insomniac's future projects. So that would of course be a new Spider-Man and a new Ratchet and Clank game then. However, I would really, really like to see Resistance come back. So please, please bring Resistance back. I just love it so much. What happened? What the hell is that? Can, Can you hear them? They are calling to us. It's beautiful. Stay back. This is just the beginning. Forgive me, sir. It was an honor. The final piece of DLC for Hitman 2 has been revealed. It's called Haven Island. It's basically a posh tropical island. It launches on September the 24th and it is the final piece of DLC for the game. So that is Hitman 2's final piece of DLC, Haven Island, launching on September the 24th. No Man's Sky Patch 2.12 is now live. It weighs in at 4.7 gigabytes and improves the visual quality of the game in VR mode alongside a huge number of bug fixes but that is patch 2.12 now live for No Man's Sky. Anyone playing Smite on the PlayStation 4 still? Didn't think so. Nonetheless, developer High Res Studios have confirmed the game is now cross-platform on PlayStation 4, so you can play Smite with all your other friends on different hardware who also probably don't play Smite anymore. Controller developer Nacon have revealed a new pro PS4 controller called the Revolution Pro Controller 3. It's due for release this October. It has customizable input options, has four shortcut buttons which you can program. You can change how 
much the controller actually weighs by adding or removing weights. And that's pretty much it. That is the Revolution Pro Controller 3 scheduled for release in October for the PlayStation 4. The first free of charge in-game event for Borderlands 3 has been revealed. It's called Bloody Harvest. There's a new mission, new boss fight and a new map to explore. Now Bloody Harvest will be available in October in time for Halloween of course and it will be available for just over a month to play before they pull it out of the game. So that is Bloody Harvest for Borderlands 3 available in October. Sony have announced the next State of Play live stream will air on the 24th of September and Naughty Dog have confirmed that The Last of Us Part 2 will indeed feature as part of that live stream. Now I fully expect to see new gameplay, a new trailer and a confirmed release date for The Last of Us Part 2 as part of that stream which is very, very, very exciting but yes the next State of Play live stream will air on the 24th of September 2019. Ubisoft have confirmed the next open beta for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. It will run from the 26th of September to the 29th of September and that's pretty much it yeah open beta Ghost Recon Breakpoint 26th to the 29th of September Jenny LeClue Detective Vu the mystery solving detective game has been confirmed for a PS4 release this year unfortunately it is still a 2019 release window nonetheless it's a pretty cool art style certainly one to watch but that is Jenny LeClue Detective Vu launching on the PS4 this year Bandai Namco have traded marked Mr. Driller Encore and Klonoa Encore, pretty much confirming rumours that we will soon see remastered versions of each of these classic games. So yes, Mr. Driller and Klonoa look like they will be coming to the PlayStation 4 very soon. The PS4 has officially passed the 30 million unit sold marker for North America, making up almost 30% of the console's entire sales market. For comparison, the UK has managed 6.8 million units, which is pretty good considering how small we are. Germany has done 7.2 million units as well. So yeah, where you at Microsoft? Where are you? Where are you? Developer Night School Studio have announced their next game. It's called After Party and it's scheduled for release on the 29th of October 2019. You take control of two best friends who are in hell and Satan challenges said friends to a drinking competition. If you win, you go back to Earth. Pretty simple. I mean, no disputing the originality of that concept. Certainly one to keep an eye on, but that is After Party scheduled for release on October the 29th, 2019. Sabre Interactive have revealed C Season 2 for World War Z, with the headline edition being the introduction of cross-platform play. There's going to be two new missions alongside new weapons, zombie types, and of course skins. No release date, just dated for the fourth quarter of 2019. But yes, cross-platform play will be coming to World War Z before the end of this year. The final story of the week, as always, is your UK game sales multi-platform chart. And in at number 10 is Super Mario Maker 2. Number 9 is Crash Team Racing Nitro. Fueled. Number 8, welcome back to the top 10, is Grand Theft Auto 5. Number 7 is Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Number 6 is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Number 5 is Greedful. Number 4, NBA 2K20. Number 3, eFootball Pez 2020. Number 2 is Gears 5. And number 1 is Borderlands 3. There you have it, that's it for another week of PlayStation news. Whilst you're here, why not subscribe, turn notifications on, help to support the channel. Thank you very much. And of course, follow me on Instagram. I've got 12 followers, just 12, 12 followers on Instagram. It's going well. The whole Instagram thing I'm trying is going really well. As you can see, 12 followers. Please help that number increase by checking me out at Waterfields1 on Instagram. Backlogs. Let's talk about backlogs. Let me know if you're playing any games you consider to be in a backlog. I have revisited Bioshock on the PlayStation 3 and weirdly Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the PlayStation 3 as well. Very close to getting both of those games to 100% which is pretty awesome but let me know in the comment section below if you are playing any old games which you would classify as part of your backlog and let's have a chat. Thank you for watching, thank you for the support, I'm Waterfields1, enjoy your week, enjoy your gaming, see you later. That's really disturbing, right?
I'll be back. What? 